Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. They are, this is a purge. They're slashing 200 jobs. We talked about earlier this week how Jameel Hill was among one of them, one of the podcasts that were not going to be renewed. It seems like capitalism is a thing and Spotify wants to make money. And so it's nice to have all of these brands and pay all these people money they don't deserve. But also when you realize they're not earning you any money because they have no talent, it might be back to revert back to the old strategy of making some money. So among the podcasts that are on the chopping block and which will not be renewed is Meghan Markle's podcast. And this is shocking to me. I am shocked. I am shooketh to my core. She's so talented, Meghan Markle. And when they decided to sign a $25 million deal with her, I hope that person who made that decision has subsequently been fired um, for her Archetypes podcast, I went and I listened to it. And I think I don't see how any woman wakes up in the morning and doesn't put this on first thing. Like, I don't know who doesn't want to hear Megan talking to them every single day. So I'm bringing you a snippet. I'm bringing you guys a snippet so that you can see what you are missing. Maybe we can get her numbers up so high that they come back to her with the deal. Take a listen to Megan's podcast. When I was 14, I planned my wedding. Not my actual wedding. That would have been a bit harder to imagine. This wedding was an assignment for my Religion 2 class in Catholic school. At no point could you say, nope, mm -mm. my dream for the future is to be single. The message, even at my feminist all-girls school, was as traditional as it gets. First comes love, then comes marriage. <laughs> Just, guys, every single episode is exactly that. It's Megan acting. I don't even think that they understood what a podcast is supposed to be. It's Megan, Megan acting. And she's, when I was a little girl, she tells a story about something that was totally normal. And then reminds you that somewhere in this totally normal story, like she had a class and she was supposed to fantasize about her wedding, that she really realized that she was a victim. And in this circumstance, she realized that, oh my God, why are you telling all these women to get married? Let's forget the fact that she literally married a prince, which is like something that happens in a Disney movie. She wants to show that she realizes the trauma on this. And then she invites a guest to talk about how women are suffering. So it's not that shocking to understand why this failed. Because again, it wasn't a podcast. It was a weird woman acting out her old middle school diary entries and then expecting people to simply listen because of who she married. Megan doesn't seem to have that much talent, but she did work on that BLM scam. She caught the moment. They wrote her a huge check thinking that it was going to be big and they failed. So might I recommend Spotify in the future to hire talented people? We discussed them getting rid of Jameel Hill. And I wondered, what was she talking about in her podcast? Like, why was her podcast so low on the charts? I'm sure she was interesting and thought-provoking. So I had to listen to it. And here was Jamil's podcast entitled Jamil Hill is Unbothered. Take a listen. Um, a question that I ask every guest that appears on the podcast since it's called Jamil Hill is Unbothered. Um, and I can't wait to hear your answer. Uh, when did you become unbothered? Because it sounds like you, you've been in that space. I've been unbothered. <laughs> yes. I've been, I've been unbothered. Yeah, it's a very good question to ask all of your podcast hosts. When did you get unbothered? When did you become unbothered? Riveting. I'm sure she's received a riveting answer. She had Patrice Cullors on talking about how she thought she was going to die because of right-wing individuals. Essentially exactly what you thought these podcast episodes were for these individuals. One, race baiting. The second one, about how she's perpetually been a victim when in fact actually her life was really chummy and she literally married a prince. It's exactly what these were. And it turns out there's not a market for whining. People don't want to wake up in the morning and hear somebody whine about their perfect lives every single day. And so Spotify is deciding not to renew these audio deals and hopefully in the future, they have learned a lesson and others will be inspired to just hire people based on the merit of their ideas and the merit of their talent and nothing else. If you like this video, you're going to like the full episode even better and you can find it by clicking right here.